just reaching a hospital counts as a miracle. After three months of war, Yemen's health care system, never strong, is collapsing. Sana'a's main Jumhuria hospital keeps going under severe strain. Away from these beds, 60% of Yemenis have no access to medical care. When Ahmed Kara Ahmed, a migrant from Ethiopia, was caught in an airstrike, he was traveling through Yemen to try to cross into Saudi Arabia to work. The insides of his lungs were burnt as well as his skin. Sana'a was captured by Houthis, insurgents from North Yemen last September. The Saudi-led coalition, backed by a UN resolution, wants to restore the former government to the capital. For the last three months, without invading, the richest Arab countries have been attacking Yemen, the poorest. But they haven't forced the Houthis to give up the territory and arms they've captured. Mohammed Ali al-Houthi is the de facto president. He denies Saudi accusations that the Houthis are in league with Iran, Saudi's biggest rival. The Houthis are part of a largely homegrown fight for power. But the Saudi intervention makes Yemen's war part of the Middle East's most significant confrontation between Saudi Arabia and Iran. How's the war going to finish? All of the people from all the world will stand with the Yemeni people against this crisis. And you have a big role in supporting the Yemeni people through sending the message that the siege is a war of genocide against the people of Yemen. The economy has virtually collapsed. Sana'a is paralyzed, focusing on survival. The Saudi-led blockade has stopped almost all fuel supplies. No fuel means no mains water or electricity. A tank feeds these taps for two hours a day. Layers of war are breaking Yemen. In the last week, there have been car bombs outside mosques in Sana'a, claimed by jihadists who are also fighting the Houthis. Since the Saudi bombing started, Al-Qaeda has taken more territory. The Saudis say they have a clear political objective in this war to restore the ousted president and to send a strong message to the Iranians that they can't meddle in Saudi Arabia's backyard. But the question is, is this the way to achieve that? At the Jumhuria Hospital in Sana'a, Muntasa Mansour, who's two, is expected to survive the burns he suffered in an airstrike. Doctors say the Saudi blockade stops them getting all the drugs they need for his pain. His future holds more trouble. Almost half of Yemen is on the verge of famine.